Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Landon with LMR.com. In this video, we're gonna be checking out SVE's tubular radiator support for the 1979 to 1993 Fox Body Mustangs, as well as installing one into a car. So you're probably wondering, why do I need this? Well, this particular piece on a Fox Body Mustang is positioned just in front of the frame rail and it's kind of the lower U section uh, of the core support. And what happens over time, not every car is like this, obviously. People may use a jack under this particular area uh, on the factory core support and they bend it all to heck. The car may have been in an accident and it's bent. Those are two of the main scenarios and situations that you may find yourself in. Of course, another reason would be you're probably transitioning the car to more of a race inspired theme if you must. Uh, you're looking to save a little bit of weight and you're not running AC and you're not running power steering because there is no provisions for the AC condenser brackets and there is no provision for the power steering cooler tube. Uh, so keep that in mind if you're going to be installing this SVE tubular radiator support. So if we take a closer look at the support, it's made in the USA. It's drawn over mandrel steel, it's mandrel bent. The mounting pads here at the frame rail and the mounting pads or mounting tabs, whichever you wanna call them, for the lower section of the radiator. This is all TIG welded by hand. The steel tubing is one inch diameter and has a 90 thousandths thick wall thickness. So it will have very good structural integrity for its intended application. Uh, this is a bare finish. So whenever you get it and there's a little bit of surface rust, don't freak out. You're gonna prep and you're gonna paint this to your liking anyways. In the box is gonna be obviously one SVE tubular radiator support and a set of factory style radiator insulators. Within the radiator insulators, you're gonna get two upper insulators. So if you're still using the factory style upper brackets, you can use these. And you're also going to get two lower radiator insulators. Now I'm gonna go ahead and clear the air during the installation process. I accidentally used uh, the upper insulators uh, in the lower position. So what you see during the install technically isn't correct, although it actually worked out perfect for us. So you can kind of play around with that. And if you don't need these for the uh, upper isolators, you may end up using them in the lower position uh, instead. But the actual lower insulators are are kind of the, uh, I guess, fatter or less skinny insulator. There's no real position since this isn't a factory application, but you will need to cut the locating pegs or dowels uh, from the backside uh, of the insulator. Now, for any additional fitment notes, uh, always reference the product page. Uh, there's really no torque specs involved with this, uh, but I will leave a list of tools down in the description. Speaking of those tools, you're gonna need a uh, decent selection, obviously uh, something to remove spot welds and cut the factory section of the core support out, and then you'll also need a welder to weld this into place. If you're gonna be doing this yourself, I would at least have an assistance from a friend uh, because the extra hands will come in handy when doing this. So the car we're gonna be working on today is Michael Schnick's Fox Body Mustang. He's built it for drifting, so it's kinda got all the uh, lightweight stuff. It's got a bunch of stuff taken out of it, you know, the whole nine yards for that particular application. He's already got an existing uh, support there, but he wants to replace it for the SVE tubular support. So some of the steps you're gonna see today obviously won't reflect what you would need to do if you still have a factory section of the core support, but it's still gonna serve a lot of value if you're replacing an existing tubular support that's already on the car as we kind of show you some tricks on what to do to this tubular support uh, to get it to fit if there was already something existing uh, in its place. So other than that, let's get rolling. To get started, you wanna make sure you're working in an area suitable for grinding and welding. Support the entire car or just the front. Go ahead and remove the front bumper. We have a dedicated video on front bumper removal and you can check that one out down in the description below. Now we'll need to remove the upper radiator hold down components. This could be different from car to car. Lift up on the radiator and support it on both sides with some bungee cords or something similar. Just be sure you don't damage the fins. With the radiator supported, check over the area and remove anything else that is attached to the lower section of the core support or the surrounding area that could get in the way. Once everything is removed and out of the way, you can start cutting the core support even with the underside of the frame rail. Michael's car has an existing lower support already installed, so our situation is different than a factory setup. Before cutting the other side, have a friend hold the lower section so it doesn't come crashing down. Now you can use an assortment of cutoff wheels and a grinder to remove the remaining material and ensure that the area is prepped for welding. We went ahead and left the existing tabs from the previous support in place since we didn't want to obliterate the frame rail with a bunch of cutting and grinding. Because of this, we cut the vertical section off on the inboard side of the frame rail mounting tabs. Another tip for the mounting tab is to drill four quarter inch holes around the perimeter of the base. This will allow you to perform what they call a rosette weld, which is commonly referred to as a plug weld. Once this is finished, you can prep the tubular support for paint. 
To avoid a whole bunch of overspray to the surrounding area, I would suggest painting the support before installing it with the paint of your choice. Don't paint the area on the support that needs to be welded to the car. If you do happen to get some overspray on this area, just wipe it clean with some paint thinner. If you have some, you can use a weld through primer on the support in the area on the car that is going to be welded. Allow the paint to dry before handling the part. Now we're ready for installation. Take the lower radiator insulators and remove the locating pegs with some snips. Install the insulators into the tabs on the support in the correct orientation or whichever orientation works best for your application. Remember, as I mentioned before, I accidentally installed the upper insulators by accident. Position the tubular support and do your best to mock everything up of how it would be installed once welded. We reinstalled the upper hold down components and positioned a transmission jack with a flat jacking pad to hold the support and the radiator in position. Square the support between the frame rails and ensure the radiator is positioned correctly. Place a couple of tack welds on both sides. Now you can go back over each area and fully weld the tubular support to the frame rail. Whenever you're satisfied with the welds, wipe the surface with a prep spray. Mask the surrounding area and then paint any exposed metal. Allow adequate drying time before reassembling any of the previously removed components. After that, you're good to go. All right, people, so wrapping things up here, the SVE tubular radiator support uh, is a great solution for anybody that may be replacing a damaged factory section on the core support or you're transitioning your Fox Body Mustang to more of a race-inspired theme. As always, if you have any questions, drop us a comment and be sure to reference the product pages uh, for the most up-to-date information. Until we catch you in the next one, uh, if you find value in what we do, uh, subscribe to our channel, give the video a thumbs up and turn on notifications. That way you don't miss any of our future uploads. And until we catch you in the next one, y'all know what to do for all things Fox Body Mustang. Keep it right here with the Real Enthusiasts, LMR.com.